last video I showed you how to tame a gatcher, uh, today I'm going to show you how to use it. Uh, I've got my element dust gatcher out today. I've had a couple of owls parked in front of it now for a few hours, so we should have some pellets inside it. Let's have a look. You've got plenty of pellets in there. All we need to do now is feed it some stone. Let's bring the dooley over. The reason we've got pellets in it is because although it's stone, if you've got owl pellets in it, it will give you a crystal every time. As opposed to about one in five without pellets. Let's feed it some stone and see what we get out of it. I'm going to move the dolly away because it has a thing of shit. And we don't really want that. Catchers are solitary creatures unless you've got a breeding pair. It won't be happy if it's sat next to another male gacha. Try and keep them at least 12 foundations apart. You see he's happy. With all that sparkly stuff, here we go. If you don't have owls or owl pellets, it's not a problem. You will eat the stone, but it won't give you a crystal every time. Let that drop and come back up. We should have 150 element dust out of it, hopefully. Let's have a look. There we go, 155 element dust. It's completely random when it's going to drop your Mastercraft, Apprentice, Ramshackle stuff, but it does. There we go again. He sat down, he's going to throw a crystal. I know he's going to throw a crystal, because I've said he's got pellets in it. I'll take the pellets out in a minute, so you can see it gets a bit more hit and miss then. We'll do one more with pellets. Again, 154 dust. A thousand dust makes one element. Which you could of course do in your inventory, provided you've got the engram open. Oh. There we go. A thousand dust for one element. Right, is that a crystal there? get these pellets out of him. Right, this is going to become hit and miss now. You see Sparkly's gone. That's what I call it. No crystal. You can do that two or three times now with no crystal until he actually gives you one. So let's get the pellets back in him. Was a waste of time. You can also tame him on pellets. It's a lot quicker than uh, you saw in my video when I was using stone. Remember they do decay, so just chuck them down three at a time, and you'll eat them when you're taming. See, the sparklies are back, he's happy, and he's going to give us a crystal. We'll do a few more, and hopefully he'll give us something good. Oh. 
get to a thousand so I can show you making element. There's a pellet. I don't know if you saw that. The owl spat out a pellet and he grabbed it automatically, put it in his inventory. See, I've got more set on a leash here as well. I don't know what you know about leashes yet. But you can see the little padlocks on the animals. They won't walk outside of this ring. They're stuck in there. Even if you put them on wander, they'll stay in there. Let's see what we get this time. Oh, there we go. This is a loop one. Saw the little lights following it. There we go. Mastercraft Gacha Crystal right there. Let's see what we get from this then. An Ascendant Chitin Helmet. Not the greatest. But it's a loot nonetheless. things why aren't they? Just go into these in R2 and them, which opens them up. Obviously, when we're doing a metal one, we've got metal ones and black pearl ones, so you don't want to be opening them up on your inventory because you shouldn't be able to move anywhere. this time. make it into an unstable element but just leave it on your inventory and it will become pure element going down slowly but surely once it reaches the bottom might be pure element the same as you get our boss fights so there we go that's how easy it is to get loot from a gacha just remember don't put two gachas together of the same sex and if you've got two gachas of the same sex keep them at least 11 or 12 foundations apart let's have a quick look see what we've got coming out here Element 
first. Right, well there we go then. Easy. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe. And I'm Mark from Fantasia Gaming. Thanks.